sacrificial mower. Right, let me tell you how you can keep a machine earning for you well after you've retired it from your daily work. Now we've all got our own ideas on when we should replace kit and at what stage of its life do we replace it and then what do we do with it after we've replaced it. Some of us will use a machine and they use it till it dies, go and buy a new one. Someone will use a piece of kit for two years, take it back into the shop and then trade that in for a new one. So everyone's got their own ideas, it just depends how you want to do it and obviously your financial situation. Now I'm not talking about a machine that you need for a specific job and it's a new machine to you, I'm on about replacing machines that you use daily. Let me tell you what I do, let me tell you why I do it and also I'll show you how that machine then can carry on in a second life. So here are two Atesia Pro 46 mowers, pretty much identical, let me show you. That one was new in 2013 and this one was new in 2020 which is when that one retired. So what's that, six, seven seasons out of that. This is halfway through, that one's fourth season. And the reason I've kept that is because space for that will go to that. It still works, it still runs, but everything gets a little bit rickety and worn and that needs replacing wheels and bearings and all that, but it still runs. But if you've got people using mowers, they want to be able to just get off the van, start it and cut. So that's why I've got these. So yeah, that was around £800, close to 900 This was 1130 I think they're around £1,400 now. So they've definitely earned their money. That one's done thousands of hours. So those two Atesia mowers, pretty much identical. And the one, after a certain length of time, had definitely paid for itself. It must have done thousands of hours, thousands and thousands of pounds that it earned for me through the business, just through cutting lawns, they're real good machines. But at some point, it does get worn, and everything needs replacing. And there's no point in fixing things and fixing things and fixing things. You might as well go and buy a new one. Then that machine then is a spare for the one I've got. But more importantly, I can use it on jobs that I don't want to risk the new mower on because that's the mower I use day in, day out for my bread and butter lawn cuts. We do quite a few tidy up jobs and that does involve cutting lawns. And if it's a property that's new to me that I've never seen before, I don't know whether under that lawn there's an old washing line post, old bricks, all sorts of bits of metal sticking up that'll kill your mower. These jobs are also jobs that not many people want to take on. They just want to do the easy maintenance, which is fine because they don't want to risk the gear. But I'm happy to risk my gear on these jobs because I'm not using my best mower, my best hedge trimmers. I've got older machines, older hedge trimmer with older cutting heads. So here's an example of the type of jobs that I use these old machines for. Now the mower hadn't been started for six months, so it did take a couple of squirts of easy start because pulling a, a mower 20, 30 times to get it started is just not my thing. So yeah, keep a tin of easy start with these old machines. So this is an area of chippings that has just gone to, to weed and I strim the words for it down and then I use the mower. It's easy, it's easier than strimming, puts a nice level, even finish to it and we get it as tidy as we can for a, for a yearly visit. So yeah, and if I hit a load of stone with this mower, I don't particularly care, but yeah, watch this for a minute. So there we are, we tidied all that weed area up on those chippings and this is the front lawn, which again, it's got all sorts in there that gets added to, do you know what I mean? There's people throw stuff on a front lawn that's not there one year, but it's there the other year. So just hack through it. So this is how I do it. I like to retire my machines and then keep them. And normally, if I'm happy with the machine, I'll replace it like for like, because then I've got spares, but also I have a machine that I know is still working, is still capable of going out and earning money. So for me, it's a no brainer. The very worst thing that'll happen is I'll hit something, 
and I'll kill that mower, which doesn't make any difference to me because like I've said, it's earned its money. It's a sacrificial mower. I'll go in, I'll charge more to do these jobs people don't wanna do. I've got an old piece of kit that I don't care if it dies doing the job. It's simple, use your kit, once you feel it's tired, once there's a few things wrong with it, replace it. You won't get breakdowns on the job. You will then have a spare machine that you can use on horrible jobs that you don't want to use your best kit and you'll have a backup machine if you need it. That's it, pretty simple to me. Anyway, thanks for checking in and thanks for all the comments on my recent videos. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed and uh, sorry for the lack of content. I've been real busy today. I'm filming as I'm driving because I'm being an escort driver to a big lorry that's going somewhere. Not my normal day, but I've um, volunteered to do it. Anyway, thanks for checking in. I will catch you all later.